Thirteen lead changes as well. In the sunset of eleven, with about three thirty left in the fourth quarter, what are you guys thinking at that point? Um, just get a couple stops in a row, execute the offense. So those two things. In the fourth quarter breakdowns, was that the defense they were playing? I mean, where, where they, is it? What you guys were doing wrong, or what they were doing right? So both. I mean, lackluster energy ups and downs throughout the whole game. Um, Three-point shooting was ugly. I mean, you know, we got great looks in the second half. Great looks we made one half the time, but just one of those nights when we shoot a very low percentage, but at the same time, we still had a chance to win the game. And uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty. Probably the worst loss of the season, unfortunately. Given how rare it is for both you and Steph not to have shots fall at the same time, what did you make of that overall? What were you guys doing to try to get out of it? Just keep shooting, but make sure you're taking good shots, get your legs up to you. Um, we've gone cold plenty of times before, and uh, you can't just lose confidence either. I mean, you can just get hotter than any in the league, so it only takes one. As cliche as that sounds, it only takes one time seeing that ball go through the hoop. But why do you think the energy and focus has been so hot cold all year? I'm, I'm not sure, man. It's a long season. We've been playing a lot of basketball for five years now, so you're not going to be perfect for 82 games. Um, we've had too many missteps, but the other day, I mean, that's the first time we lost that team in eight, 19 games, so it's ugly, but. Um, and I, I expect our crowd to be the one to do it too. Like, I know it's not the playoffs, but it is our last go around Oracle. At least you can stand up if someone would make a good play, especially in the beginning. We need that energy, especially this time of year. It's hard to conjure up energy every single night because you're looking forward to the playoffs and that run. So we expect our fans to kind of, you know, bring that from the jump. You can't, I mean, it's like us though, you can't bring it every night, but still, it helps when it doesn't matter if we're playing the Suns or the well, the Bucks, whoever it is, we need that energy from them because we feed off that. The Suns put together, you know, a nice game against the Bucks and then against you guys tonight. You know, most teams might be folding at this point of the season. They know they're out of the playoffs, but they keep on fighting. What can you say about that young group? I mean, what else are you going to do? Like, you're not going to, like, they're playing for their jobs. You think they're just going to quit? Heck no. Those guys got pride, too. Everyone in this league does. And just because you're losing games, I mean, guys are playing, aren't playing hard. Those guys... A lot of those guys are playing for future deals and future and just being scouted on a nightly basis. So, um, yeah, you, teams might look like they're folding, but there's still plenty of guys who play extremely hard at this time of the year. Even if they don't have any playoff perspectives, they're still going to come out and fight for not only their future, but their obviously their money. Is that it? Great. Thank you. Steph said he'll do it in the uh, locker room.